G'day viewers, well it's hashtag election time and I'm going to use that thing, I might try and remember to actually put the writing up from time to time, but I'm not using it all the time, who knows? Yes, in case you didn't know, in Australia we're in federal election season, about five weeks till there's an election to decide who will run the country and if I were a betting man, I would bet in the coming weeks there's going to be some colossal fuck-ups that I'll be doing some rants about. It's just, it's just a hunch I have, because a couple of days into the campaign, stuff is popping up left, right and centre. Whether it's prominent people from the Labour Party are uh, out socialising with a disgraced member of their party who's been under investigation for serious fraud and caused them no end of trouble when someone says, Hey, isn't that guy, what, why are you with him? And he goes, what? What? There's a drink. What, what could be wrong with me drinking with the guy under investigation? What? What? Or oh, the Liberal Party politicians who can't remember their own party platforms. Uh, or even better, the Liberal politician who is actually a boat person. Uh, escaped Vietnam with his family as a refugee about 30 years ago and is now 100% behind, 100 behind the policy of turn back the boats. We don't want any of those people on boats coming here. They're no good. I do not know how this guy's head can't implode just from such a massive contradiction. But he doesn't even take the cake. The cake is taken by a representative for a party that calls itself One Nation. Minority, fringe, nutbag, racist pieces of shit, okay? If you're stupid enough to want to defend them in comics, comments or comics, defend them anywhere. If you want to try and defend them and say, oh, you're not racist, you're a fucking moron, you're beneath contempt. And in fact, if you want to actually use the ridiculous line, they're not racist, when their entire platform, beginning, middle and end is, if you're not white, we get to tell you what you are and aren't allowed to do. You're not just a racist, you're not just a bigot, you're not just a moron, you're a fucking coward. You're a snivelling, lying coward who can't even admit what everyone fucking knows about you. So just shut the fuck up, okay? I have zero time for anyone who wants to be an apologist for these scum fucks. But I do want to make fun of them. Uh, one of their candidates, a 27 year old by the name of uh, Stephanie Barrister. She is a banister, I should say. She's standing in Queensland, home uh, of Redneck Central, and uh, she did an interview uh, with one of the TV stations, Channel 7, and honestly, it's a very long time since I've seen someone get everything wrong like this. I mean, everyone can make mistakes, and particularly if you're new to politics, the pressure can get you. Anyone can make a mistake. But to actually have everything that comes out of your mouth, when it's your central platform, and the platform is, ooh, scary brown people, don't want the Muslims coming in, you would think you could actually remember some basics about the people you're spreading lies and fear and paranoia about. But this idiot went through the stages, uh, she called Islam a country, and then when she said, the problem, there's too many of them. There are, oh, there's like 2% of the country follows Haram. And you really should watch the video I'll link to, because the reporter for the station is so gentle. When she says, oh, they follow Haram. And the person says, oh, the Quran, as the Islam holy book is actually known. And she's like, you can see the reporter's gone, oh, you're one of the special kitties, aren't you? Oh God, I've got to be nice to you. You're out there, have it and go. I can't be too mean to you. But she just kept going. And she's got, again, these people bring up this bizarre shit like, halal food, that's evil. Oh, you can't have food that's dictated by a religion. So the reporter said, do you have the same objection to kosher food? And she made one minor error. And I'll, I'll let this go to minor error. She said there's no tax on kosher food, by which she means to be certified halal, you actually have to pay 
one of the uh, recognizing authorizing bodies to be certified halal. Uh, you actually have to do the same thing to get an official kosher sanction. Uh, there's a whole industry about sanctioning food to be kosher or halal. Why are you terrified of food? I don't actually fucking know. The level of stupidity and ignorance to be scared of food blows my mind. Personally, I've got no time for either halal or kosher because neither of them allowed to eat bacon. And honestly, once you go down that road, something's fundamentally wrong. I could actually list about 20 or 30 other things that I think are fundamentally wrong with Islam and, for that matter, Orthodox Judaism and conservative Christianity, but bacon. I mean, what else? So that was only a minor error, and I wouldn't hold too much against her. But, in fact, she reserved, I think, her biggest clangor for Judaism. And I mean biggest. Now, I've already said she's called Islam a country. She's just randomly mixing up the words haram, and Quran, and but her big one was saying why she's got more times for Jews because they're not Muslims, they've got their own religion and they follow Jesus Christ. It's kind of the fundamental difference between Jews and Christians is the whole recognition of Jesus Christ thing. And if you're in one nation and you need a pointer, I'll lead you to. The Jews don't recognize Jesus Christ as the savior, okay? It's pretty fundamental. And this person is running for public office in a national election. She's not going to get in. She's going to be a laughing stock for the rest of life. Oh, she even went so far as to say, oh no, they've twisted my words around. So she not only doesn't understand Islam or Judaism, she doesn't fucking understand videotape. Okay, now, it is possible she may have tried to correct herself. She claims they selectively edited it. And if they did, that's a bit of a mean trick. But they didn't twist her words. That's how videotape works, you know? It records your actual words. So when your actual words are played back, they're not being twisted. So this person is just like everything that is wrong with a politician bundled into one person. Ignorance, lies, hypocrisy, paranoia, fear-mongering, and just flat-out fucking stupidity. I am going to go out and say, th I'm going to hope, or maybe I don't hope, maybe I want someone dumber. I reckon this is as stupid as it's going to get. I will say, this is Australia on the world stage. If you are anywhere in the world, and you can hold up someone who ran for election in a national election and said something, a succession of things more stupid than this, I want to know about it. I want the links because honestly, I could do with the laugh. Because in my book, it doesn't get any more stupid than this one. That's the news and that's the truth.